Welcome, this is uh, my video to explain how to do some of the practice problems in Mass C, and specifically we're section 8.2, solving a quadratic equation. So here's the first one right here, t squared plus 5t plus 6 equals 0. It's a quadratic because we have a constant added to a variable expression, t, and then added to that variable expression, squared. And I look at this and think, oh, my first bet, I think I'm going to factor. So t squared comes from t times t. Positive on the 6 says both sides down here are the same. Positive on the 5 in the middle says they're both positive symbols. And then what are the factors of 6? 1 times 6, 2 times 3. I'm looking for those that sum, because with the same sign, we're looking for a sum of 5. That's 2 and 3. So t plus 2, t plus 3. 2 times 3 is positive 6. Positive 2 added to positive 3 is positive 5, so that checks. So we set these guys each equal to 0. So t plus 2 equals 0. t plus 3 equals 0. We're going to add negative 2 to both sides, so t equals negative 2. And for this equation, t equals negative 3. And there's our solution. Wham, bam. Number 8. We had a quadratic equation, so we have a constant, we have a variable expression, y, we have that variable squared, which is y squared. And so we're going to write it in conventional order, so the, the y squared is already positive, so I'm going to bring the 2y across the equal sign. And we're going to do that by adding its opposite. So we already have 15y squared, and then this guy, when it comes over here, it's going to be negative 2y. And then we already have negative 1. So a is 15. B is negative 2, C is negative 1 when we do the quadratic formula. So the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC, so B is negative 2, so negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then we have negative 4 times AC. Well, 15 times negative 1 is negative 15. And so this negative 4 times a negative 15 makes a positive 60, and that 60 added to the 4 gives me 64. And then that's a perfect square, because that's the same as 8 squared. So y, which is our variable here, is going to equal the opposite of b. Well, notice b is negative 2, so opposite of that is positive 2. Plus or minus square root of 64, all divided by 2 times a. Well, a is 15, so 2 times 15 is 30. And the square root of 64 is 8, so we have in the numerator 2 plus or minus 8, all divided by 30. So then we do the plus or the minus, right? So 2 plus 8, that's 10 over the 30. 2 minus 8, that's negative 6 over the 30. So 10 over 30, they're both multiples of 10 because they both end in 0. That should be obvious, I hope. So 1 times 10, 3 times 10, the 10s cancel. I'm left with 1 third. And then negative 6 over 50, they both have 6 in common. So negative 6 is negative 1 times 6. 30 is 5 times 6. The 6s cross cancel. We're left with negative 1 fifth. There we go. Y equals one-third or negative one-fifth. Well, I hope that helped you out. Other than that, have a good one. Ciao.